Hi, in my first video about uh, version 1.04 there was a little bit confusion about how to run uh, not free stream notification from localhost so today I will describe uh, step by step how to you know, how to run it so uh, first what you need to do is you need to download mongo database install it and after you install it you will create a folder in C drive named uh, data in data folder you will create folder DB and those two folders are required for Mongo uh, to work so next you will go to installation directory to bin folder and you will run MongoD uh, you can double click but uh, if you want to see the uh, log even if the application would crash then no uh, if you want to see the uh, even if application the log even if application would crash then you need to run command line in that directory and from that that location you will uh, start mongod okay everything went fine the directory was found and the mongo database is working uh, if you wouldn't create the directory of or the mongo uh, couldn't find that directory it would it would crash and if you would double click it you wouldn't see the log because the the window would automatically close so by running uh, se separate uh, command exe and uh, running the mongod command from that uh, command line you are ensuring that you can see the log so mine is working so let's go to next step next step would be that you uh, uh, f fetch my uh, zip package system notification 1.04 beta and in the zip you will find those three uh, two files and uh, one folder uh, we are interested only in those last two so I made uh, one change to the start but uh, if you double click it and uh, it will crash it, it will no longer close the window it will stay open let me show you how this works so we have mongo database running and we'll start free stream notifications yes and okay so uh, free stream notification are working mongo is working so we can access uh, localhost port 8080 and see the dashboard so this is first time launch window and uh, you will see here the client id of the application if you run the localhost with the default port uh, you don't need to uh, you don't need to register the application using this step if you will change the the port uh, in, in running uh, f uh, free sim notification then you need to uh, click here register the application with with twitch uh, you will provide the name of the application as the uh, as the URI you will put the localhost and the port you are using like this and uh, after you hit register uh, Twitch will generate the client ID code you will copy that go back to sign in page and you will uh, replace or pass the new client ID here and hit save and if you hit save and everything went correctly uh, you will see only the connect with Twitch button and basically the application is ready to to work so let's connect okay and dashboard is working all right so let let me look out and go back and now uh, troubleshooting so in case of problems during any of those steps let's say uh, let's say that something bad happens so I made a fix that uh, 
mm, window will stay open uh, window of start path so let me show you uh, let's say I will uh, double click it again and basically run second second window so as you can see it crashed because I it is already opened and it is already bind as it as the message say and the win start button window di didn't close it will wait for for your interaction and you can see uh, what went wrong or why it it, it it isn't working yeah so very easy three steps to run the application from localhost you need to you need to uh, install mongo database you need to create the folder in data db in in c drive and after you create create it in c drive you can uh, launch mongo dx if everything went uh, okay it will it will run and stay open if if it crash uh, it, it will close it so in that case you can open command line x uh, in that location and uh, run it again and the windows won't close and you can read the message if everything went okay you can uh, launch the free stream notification and those are three steps that you need to follow to run the application from localhost i hope it was uh, uh, it was understand understandable and you can follow those easy instructions thank you for watching and see you next time